I'm impressed, Agent Archer. I expected that promoting you to field operations would be disastrous, but I never imagined a catastrophe of these proportions. You've now managed to botch two high-profile, high-stakes missions. Care to explain? If you can master your animosity enough to address me in a civil tone, I'll attempt to explain, in terms you might understand, exactly how I believe we've arrived at this impasse, sir. Your inadequacy is matched only by your impertinence. If you find my manners offensive, I suggest you find a line of work more suited to your delicate nature. Gardening, for example. Or perhaps motherhood, hmm? This is getting us nowhere. Neither is she. I plan to submit a formal request to review her record for dismissal. You'll do nothing of the sort. Even if we had the luxury of discharging one of our last remaining operatives, which we don't, there are proper channels to consider. No agent of unity has ever been relieved of duties without a formal, thorough inquest. Personally, while I admit that I'm concerned about the results we've seen thus far, I'm not convinced that Agent Archer is entirely to blame. Until I am convinced, we'll continue with our current plan of action. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet. It's quite probable that things will get worse before they get better. I don't see how that's possible. Did you get a look at your assailant? Aye, that I did. Did you recognize him? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong, born in Glasgow, Scotland, 1925. Frequently in trouble as a lad due to a penchant for fighting. By all accounts, he was a good-natured, likable young man. Never bullied anybody, only picked fights with boys that were game for a brawl. Got kicked out of several schools before his parents finally stuck him in a military academy. During the war, he served as a sapper in France and Germany, everything from mine removal to demolitions and sabotage. Earned himself quite a reputation for his reckless antics. The most popular legend had to do with a bridge he allegedly crippled with nothing but a shovel and a hand grenade. A German supply train did the rest. When it reached the weakened section of the bridge, the whole structure came crashing down. It's a shame this chap ended up on the wrong side of the law. To the best of our knowledge, he's never been involved in anything this big before. Most of his arrests since returning from the war have been related to public brawling. Any theories on why he didn't simply shoot you when he had the chance? I'll be sure to ask him when I bring him in. That's assuming you get the opportunity. She just might. We may have a lead. This morning, West German custom officials in Hamburg discovered several suspicious-looking chemical containers aboard a Finnish cargo freighter. Fortunately, these chaps decided to inform us rather than seizing the contraband outright, which gives us a chance to conduct a covert investigation. You believe this is the link to Dr. Schenker? It could well be. If so, given the specific chemicals found aboard the freighter, it's a fairly safe bet the kidnappers are not only aware of Dr. Schenker's research, but also determined to capitalize upon it. If our theories are correct, the kidnappers are in Hamburg or will be arriving shortly. A good spy could find them. Fortunately, we're sending a good spy on this mission. You'll be working with him. A new partner? More like a supervisor. An American named Thomas Goodman. Perhaps you've heard of him. Aye, but I thought he was killed in Amsterdam. Really? He's a resourceful chap, though. Made a daring escape on a stolen bicycle with half the Dutch police force in hot pursuit and KGB agents waiting in ambush around every corner. Smashing story. I'm sure he'll recount it if you ask him. At any rate, you're to rendezvous with him in Germany and see what the two of you can dig up. You'll take your orders directly from him during this mission. Thank God. Very good, sir. Thank you. Agent Archer? Yes, sir. What was it like falling out of that plane? I promise to tell you about it sometime. I tell you she's a liability. Perhaps, but I'm not convinced yet. What will it take to convince you? How many more catastrophes must we suffer through? Because keeping her on the active list will lead to further disasters. Of that, I'm certain. Yes, I can see that you are. Our purpose is to preserve freedom, to protect innocent lives, to combat evil wherever it manifests. 
We can't afford to tolerate anything that stands in the way of that goal. The girl may be spirited, but she's virtually incompetent. I admire your sense of duty, but I question your judgment. I can't say that at my prime I would have performed any better than she under the circumstances. You're assuming her reports are entirely genuine. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn that she'd colored the facts. The bloody things read like adventure novels. So now you're indicting her credibility? Does that seem unreasonable? The girl was a thief, for goodness sakes. A little skepticism seems prudent. I'll take it under advisement. Look, it's not too late to pull her off the assignment. I've read the American's file. He's perfectly capable of handling an operation like this on his own. Probably so. But I have the strangest feeling a woman's touch is exactly what we need on this one. I can't argue with you when you're like this. No, you can't. I hope you realize you're letting yourself be ruled by intuition. Reason tends to make a far more reliable counselor. You might ruminate on that adage yourself. Huh. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Here's a perfume that'll really knock them out. Literally. It sprays a cloud of vapor that contains a potent sedative capable of knocking out a horse, let alone an adult human. Just be careful not to wander into the cloud yourself, or who knows where, or even if, you'll wake up. Why don't you try it out on Leon here? He's been up for 32 hours straight working on a new prototype. The rest might do him some good. <laughs> 